what's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and today in this video we are going to create this design onto pixel lab app yes you can create this into pixel lab but you can also create into let's say canva or any other softwares that you're using on mobile apps anything but this is going to be a basic design which will be created with text and basic elements like squares and this looks also good so yeah definitely if you're a beginner if you are trying to get into design and if you are using pixel lab you can definitely try this design on your phone and uh, yeah just basic design just basic elements if you are new this will definitely be like kind of a beginner design and also there are two videos for beginner uh, beginner level for pixel lab so if you want to do check them uh, there are links in the description also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that right now if you have been watching amazing play videos and if you are loving the content then definitely hit that subscribe button right now like this video as well and without wasting any more time let's get started all right so this is pixel lab and this is the home screen as you can see on your own screen as well so this is like basically our default screen i'm gonna delete the text right here and i'm also going to click on these drop dots and select the size so right now with this design i'm gonna go with a standard instagram post design size that is 1080 by 1350 but you can also get it in other design formats if you like to, if you would want to that so yeah this is 1350 uh, 1080 by 1350 and this is like a common instagram post size again i'm gonna go into background color and select my background color to black so from here i have selected my background color to black from these icons and this is how it looks like now i'm gonna go add text right here which will be like the only text that we are adding in the first so this will be uh let's say what i'm gonna write let's add multi let's type multiverse so multiverse is uh, the text that i'm going with considering the multiverse thingy that happening with Doctor Strange movies you get it if you are a marvel lover then uh just clip on it i'm gonna get it like space i'm gonna keep it some space in between them and i'm gonna go keep uh, keep it caps and this is how it looks like okay right now we need a font to add on this one so i'm gonna go into fonts right here where are my fonts here right here i can see and I'm go I'm gonna go get a basic level font and that will be a uh, Babus new. So Babus new is uh, the font that I'm gonna go with this one. But also you can also try like other fonts as well. This is the one that I go that, that I'm going with. By the way, this design I found out on uh, Pinterest. I really like it that and I tried that on Pixel Lab and it worked perfectly well. So uh, design credits to whoever like designed this in the first place. But this is not my design and uh, yeah we are loving to create it by the way the color palette that i'm gonna go with this one is like like this also if you want to have this color palette then you can get it on my telegram you will just have to click on the link in the description or you can also search for amazing play yt on telegram and you will find this group that i apply and supply all of uh, my you know design assets so color palette will be available on my telegram group and if you are new then definitely join that one because I share a lot of stuff over there as well. Moving on, so now I'm gonna select uh, the colors from the color palette and add it on the text. So as you can see, this is how you're gonna go with. You can basically select uh, which part of which letter of the color you want to design or or select. And right now I'm selecting this color right here. So I'm basically changing letter by letter colors, and that is that can be done in the one shape. Like you don't have to add multiple types of text layers to color them differently you can just do that by in the one itself colors like one itself text and uh, just uh, just create them something like this like they shouldn't be uh, you know a lot of the colors are shouldn't be all together one in in one piece like different colors on every letter you can go with that also so this is i'm gonna go with this, this one and uh, i'm making sure that all the colors are like separated by every color like not repetitive colors and uh, yeah just keeping this corner on this keeping the sticks on the corner left corner but uh, also you can keep it in middle if you want to you can do whatever but uh, i'm just gonna go lock the text on the place again moving on to the next step that we are going to add is uh, the shape so the shape is this is the like the main part of uh, the design this whole design and this is creating this shape 
So right now I'm creating a rectangle like this. I'm clicking on OK and then I'm going to go to this function right here, which is perspective, which is also a like shape modifier. But uh, yeah, we'll get this uh, four dots and you will have to adjust them to create the perfect shape that we want to have. And here I'm moving them right now. So zooming in a little bit will definitely help. So after zoom in, I'm going to go move these two points closer to each other and create a cone shape. And you will just have to make sure that this tip of the cone should be like equal. So it is should it shouldn't be weird and different. So just calibrate that uh, zoom zooming in will definitely help you understand how it is going because it will be like kind of a tiny a bit thing and your fingers will block all your vision. So zoom in and then create this kind of shape right like this that I'm doing on the screen. You can also you know try out different shapes if you want to but uh, this is what the basic idea of the design that we are going to go with. So this is how the basic shape looks like. This is a cone shape. By the way, you can also get a triangle and make it uh, like make it look like this. But I'm going to go go with this one because I can also make changes again if you want to. So this is how the uh, shape looks like. This is our basic shape. But you can also like we will have to make changes to this shape again over and over again. But like this, like right now I'm making it uh, thinner. And you can make it thicker as well if you want to and that is what we're going to go change along the design right here so let's say uh i am now deciding where i'm going to go keep it i'm also like aiming to get the best shape for this design so to giving you a small tip if the design like the text is away from like the bottom part is bigger right so you will get to be you will have to use thinner and bigger shapes and the uppermost part like the topmost part has no space so you will have to use thicker shapes right here i hope you'll get this one because this is how the design is right now i'm adding and pointing uh, the top lip like the, the top is point uh, towards the colors that uh, that i'm choosing with right now i'm always like only selecting white color shapes and adding them to the text that are in white and then this is how it goes make sure you are like crossing them over and not making it repetitive make sure you're making it like wider so that is why i'm crossing them like this again you can go and uh, make changes as your own but make it make sure you're look, making it look good right now i'm selecting the second color, color which will be yellow and i'm pointing it to the letter l this is how it looks like and this is also getting like this is actually getting the design vibe right now like from the start itself right now just uh, copy them again and again the simple stick and paste them to wherever you want them to be and i'm just doing it like adjusting the size and making them or placing them all over right now i'm fasting it forward a little bit so uh, you will have to take your time this design takes a little bit of time like adjusting the all the shapes and making them correctly pointed towards that letter and if you're having problems uh, pointing them to the letters like on the tip of the cone, then you can also zoom in a little bit and then adjust them. That will be the later one part. But I would recommend that you do it on the way, like do it right now, because then there will be too many shapes and then you cannot find the right element if you touch on them. So definitely uh, try it out. So this is how it looks like. Uh, like I said, I have fasted forward it a little bit and uh, this is like the final design now i'm gonna go add more text over here so this is going to be again basic and you can just do it on your own adding text and placing them right over here you can also convey your message like i'm right now going with multiverse but if you go with something else then you can also add similar text over here you can create a definitely good post that can help uh, you know get the spread out so add some Catch some eyes and uh, this is how it looks like definitely let me know how do you find uh, this color palette and this color design genre again uh, you can also make changes right now i am adding like vignette effect to it so if you go in the description like this you will get to see this thing right here so adding vignette will definitely like make it whole level like make it to the next level and uh, this is how it looks like Definitely let me know how do you think this design, this is how it looks like, like the final version 
also you can add more stuff and create like more kid more creative and that is up to you guys i hope you will like this design as well and i hope you will practice this design on pixel lab because this is going to be a pixel lab practice design i would say but this also look good and if you can add it to your genre like your design concepts then it will also look on your instagram post let's say collection anything like that and uh, this is how the design looks like the final version so let me know your thoughts on this design right on the comments below also definitely like this video and if you are like the fan of pixel lab want to know more about design in general then definitely subscribe to this channel and yeah just like always i will catch you guys